let's cook y'all. Welcome back to our channel. Oh. And Tim. Hey, this is Stacy. And Tim. Tim behind the camera from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. This is something we do every Monday. We have a grocery haul. This week it's very, very small. We've gone to Kroger. I've got a meal plan for the upcoming week and a fun new question of the day. So stick around for both of those. Thanks for stopping by. The Kroger haul is very small. I am doing my very best in January to shop from my pantry and cut down on what we buy. I actually had intended to buy no pantry items, but we have both been sick and drinking a lot of hot tea, and Tim requested more tea and local honey, which I think helps us when we've got the crud. So those are my only two pantry items. Everything else I got at Kroger was produce or perishables. I'm gonna just endeavor to do that for the rest of the month. And I will try to put prices below. I did, if it hadn't been for the tea and the honey, I would have stayed under my goal. But I will put the prices. I got orange juice. I went ahead and picked up some more milk for Tim. I had a paper coupon, so it brought it down a little bit. I got some sour cream, two kinds of shredded cheese. And in the clearance bin, I found two Kroger brand yogurts for 19 cents each and a Choboni flip for 49 for a couple of things of yogurt. Also cold, I had a free best customer bonus coupon for a silk almond milk, so I got that totally free. And this was this past Friday's Free Friday download, this Folgers coffee that I will find someone to give it to because I don't drink caffeinated coffee and Tim doesn't drink flavored, but I don't leave free at the store. I tried to mostly get produce. This week's Kroger ad was very unimpressive. I did buy a bag of potatoes for $1.50. They also had bags of onions. Unfortunately, I paid full price last week and I had plenty of onions. So I'm making two meals that contain potatoes. I'll show you the menu next. Just some lettuce for salads, a couple of apples that were on sale, 99 cents a pound, carrots that were, I think they were 70, maybe 79 cents a pound. I know the broccoli crowns were 79 cents a pound and my store had some moderately beat up looking grapefruits in a little bin that were marked 29 cents each. So I figured that was worth a try because I do love grapefruit this time of year. So a very small haul and I'll show you the menu next. The menu this week is full of pantry challenge meals, but a little light on the healthy. I'm finding it hard to balance cooking healthy using the processed stuff that I have in my pantry, but I will keep trying. And I do have another quinoa dish that I'm gonna do. I just won't do it this week and do back-to-back -back quinoa dishes for Tim. But we tried a new recipe in the crock pot for chicken and dressing or chicken and stuffing. It used some uh, dried stuffing mix I had in my pantry. Monday, I am going to make a tried and true potato soup that I've done several times in my Instant Pot using half of the bag of that potatoes. Granted, I cheated a little and on the pantry challenge, I did buy something new, but the potatoes were, like you saw, $1.50 and that's a very cheap meal and I love potato soup. We're also gonna have rolls and a salad. Tuesday, Tim has uh, endured the quinoa last week and a lot of soup, so I'm going to take the last chuck roast I have in the freezer and use the rest of the potatoes and the carrots and make him a roast. Wednesday, I'm on the fence about. This is a recipe that looks really good to me, but it is a little plain. I like it because it uses a can of peaches, which I have in my pantry and I'm trying to do that. It should be fairly healthy, pairing it with rice and broccoli. I'm probably gonna need to spice up the recipe a lot. It looks a little plain. If we don't, if it, if it bombs and we don't eat that, there'll be plenty of roast and potato soup leftover, so we can always do that on Wednesday. That should satisfy both the healthy and the pantry challenge. Thursday, we will either have leftovers or I will make uh, my crock pot tomato soup. I do have a recipe video for this. It is very healthy. It uses both chickpeas and lentils, and I've got the makings of grilled cheese all the time in the house. Friday, I will either do leftovers or we'll have that soup. We've got some stuff going on at the end of the week. I'm not firmed up yet, so the menu is a little flexible. And Saturday is the same way. We will be either eating out, eating leftovers, or I'm starting to really crave my Chinese. So I always have the makings for fried rice, egg rolls, and either egg drop soup or crab rangoon. So unless I get taken out to eat Chinese, hint, hint. So that is a tentative look at the menu for the week using a lot of items from my pantry. I hope this week's menu gives you some ideas and I've got a question of the day for you next.
This week's question is tied into one of the two features that we're hosting this month on our channel. The first of which is a pantry challenge. You probably heard in the What's For Dinner and last week's grocery haul that I'm planning a lot of meals out of our pantry. And a couple of people had already commented about their pantries or lack thereof. So that is this week's question. Do you have a pantry? How big is it? Where is it located? Do you store a lot in it? If you don't have a pantry, do you use cabinets in your refrigerator or laundry room, another storage area in the house, maybe a, a laundry room or closet off your kitchen? Uh, leave us a comment and let us know. Do you store a lot? Are you like me? Can you cook out of your pantry for several weeks or months and probably not make much of a dent in it? Or do you keep it pretty lean and you just buy as you go along? Leave us a comment and let us know. And as always, thanks so much for stopping by our channel, Let's Cook Y'all. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful and blessed day, y'all. See you in the next video.